the engineering mechanics how to resolve forces okay here here there are four forces 200 newton force 120 newton force 50 newton force and 100 newton force now how to resolve this this is a basic concept in engineering mechanics okay now first to resolve forces we should know the all the values of a forces all the angle values of a forces so here for this force there is an angle of 40 degrees with the y axis and for this is x axis and this is y axis and for this force there is an angle made with x axis as 60 degrees so there are two more forces which their angle is not given so let us consider them as theta 1 and theta 2 now to find theta 1 and theta 2 they are given that here also that makes theta 1 and here theta 2 so theta 1 equal to opposite by adjacent so tan theta 1 you can write it as tan theta 1 because it, uh, the opposite value and adjacent value are given here so 1 by 2 theta 1 equal to tan inverse of 1 by 2 you will get the value here around 26.56 like in the similar way in the similar way theta 2 here this is also opposite by adjacent so tan theta 2 equal to 4 by 3 theta 2 equal to tan inverse of 4 by 3 here the value is around 53.15 degrees so now here the all forces we know the angle made with x axis and y axis for all the four given forces now next step is how to resolve them as we know the angles of the forces now i'm going to tell how to resolve the forces so for resolving you should uh, keep a simple concept in the mind as we know that all silver teacups the first quadrant second quadrant third and fourth the first quadrant both are plus plus and in the third quadrant both are minus right and in the second quadrant x-axis is going to minus and y-axis is going to plus and in the fourth quadrant x-axis is plus and y-axis is minus okay now i am going to tell how to resolve the each force so first how to resolve this this is resolving you should do like this so here here it is x-axis so plus here 200 newton force is there so 200 so here the force is making angle with x-axis so 200 cos theta 1 and this is y-axis as it is cos um, as it is cos it is obviously sine so 200 sine theta 1 okay and this and resolving this We have 120 it is x-axis so 120 cos theta 2 120 sin theta 2 similarly resolving third force which is 50 newton here this is this is making an angle with x-axis so the x component here is cos theta 50 sorry it is 50 cos 60 degrees and y axis 50 sine 60 degrees similarly here resolving this here in the 100 newton force the angle is made, angle is with y axis so the y axis here the y component will be cos 100 cos 40 and 100 sin 40. Friends, with which axis?
since the angle is made, that axis is resolving to as cos and the opposite one is as sine. Okay? Now, now that just consider x component, sigma x means sigma fx is nothing but sum of all x components. Now, how to remember? See, the direction which the x-axis components go in, this direction considered as plus and this direction considered as minus and coming to y-axis, the which go upwards, the force which go upwards is considered as plus and which come downwards considered as minus. Just remember it and we can solve the problems very easily. And sigma fx. Here, this force is going, this force is we resolved in this direction. So, 200 cos theta y and another x force this. This is resolving in this direction. So, this is in this direction, we should resolve it as minus. So, minus 120 cos theta 2. Coming to this force. Here the x-axis, the exponent is in this direction. So opposite direction comes minus. Minus 50 cos 60 degrees and this plus. Plus 100 sine 40 degrees. So by doing this we will get the value 146.164 newtons. Similarly in sigma fy. Here y-axis components, here it is upper direction, as I said in the upper direction it comes plus 200 sin theta 1, this upwards plus, plus 120 sin theta 2 and here downwards, downwards means minus, so minus 50 sin 60 degrees here also downwards, this force is resolving by component downwards, minus 100 cos 40 degrees. Here is another way to resolve this force. Here, if all the angles are made with x-axis, are made with x-axis, this one force is with y-axis. We can also do this to find this angle, we can also subtract 90 minus 40 then this angle can be made otherwise this is also correct okay and here like this we will resolve all the sigma fy component and here the value is 65.538 newtons so like this we can resolve the x components and y components and now how to find the theta value and the resultant force